What's good? What's good? This is Steeker. This is Steeker, the podcast. Hey, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I appreciate all the love and support that throwing me gente. Thank you. I hope you're doing good. I know there's a lot of changes going on right now, but hey, y'all stay safe. Appreciate your loved ones and keep doing what you need to be doing one step at a time. I know it ain't easy. Some of the things that we've seen, but hey, just continue the path of greatness. Continue your journey and don't give up. Hey, yo, let me talk about something with y'all right now, man. Let, let me let me get let me get down to it. What is going on with the new generation? I've always wondered if back in the days they said the same thing about my generation or, you know, and so on and so on. Because every generation, something different happens, right? Some 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 drastic tragedies happen that make you grow up a lot quicker. Um, I know me growing up. I had a real strong father figure in my life and I appreciated that and I still appreciate it now. You know, I had a strong a mother in my life. I had a good foundation and that's exactly what I'm trying to build with my family. It, it's built that foundation strong enough to hold up that house. And, and that's what I preach to my little ones all the time. It's like daddy's building a foundation strong enough so we don't fall apart. And that's what we're supposed to do. I know there's going to be times there's going to be struggles. I know there's going to be times we're going to see that it'd be like, it don't even make sense what we're going to. But just know that just continue pursuing your dreams. Keep reaching for the stars and don't give up. Don't give in to whatever they're teaching you or they're trying to teach you. What do you believe in? What do you think that daddy put in place for you to actually say, hey, you know what? This is what my daddy stood for. So when it's all done and said, people could look at me and say, hey, man, daddy stood for something. Now, there's a lot of streamers out there, a lot of YouTubers out there. Hey, all love and respect. Don't take this person. Don't take it personal. This is just my piece. How can anybody say they're men, that I'm a man because now I got all this money? All the money in the world don't make you a man. It don't. Money only built certain traits that you already have in you and they just come out. But money also could be a good thing if you know what to do with it. Now, some of these streamers are making a crazy amount of money and that's great for them. But what impact are they really playing? They're pushing this agenda that they make you think that men are very soft, feminine, crazy, outspoken, have no respect towards the elders, and they just speak whatever's on their mind. But then when they step outside with that same energy, what happens? Oh, 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 I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, what happened? This is what happens when you give these young people so much money, keep them in their house, and the minute they step outside, they don't know how to act. Why? Because they're making it for y'all to think that it's okay to act a certain way. Now, I was raised that, hey, respect your elders. Respect. Don't be talking crazy to them. They've been through some things. Listen. Listen to them. And show them respect. And if you show them respect, they show you respect. And uh, going outside to me was, it was peaceful. Let's just say that. It was peaceful. You know why it was peaceful? Because I learned a lot of good lessons. Hey, I busted my head. Uh, I, I didn't bruised up. I didn't bled. I didn't shed tears being outside. But it made me the person I am today. Made me strong. Made me focus. Made me realize what I really want in life. And just don't give up. It's almost like when you ride that bike, right? You ride that bike, you fall off. What are you supposed to do? Get back on that bike and keep pedaling until you know how to get on that bike and keep riding. That's what I tell my kids. Like, hey, just because you fall one time, that doesn't mean you got to give up. Hey, get, get, get back up. Let's keep going. I'll be there. I'm going to hold you. And I think that this is the this character that put them in front of the camera just so they could get attention. This screaming, this hollering. And it's sad because some of the other people that I that I watch and I'm like, man, I, I, I'm cool with watching certain streamers and certain podcasts. And I'm like, man, they're changing just so they could be just, just like this for a little bit of money. Where's your dignity? Where's your morals? Where's your values? It's almost like you wouldn't have settled for whatever just for money. Look, money 
It's everything. I get it. You know, it gets it, it keeps the the momentum going. Keeps you can buy certain things, but it's gonna be a certain point that you reach where you say, "Hey, wait a minute. What do I stand for?" When I look in the mirror, I say, "Okay, what do I need to work on today?" These people are so quick to just say whatever's on their mind and say, "Okay, it's cool. There ain't gonna be no consequences for the actions." And once you start seeing these people. And this is a reason I've been, me personally, there's no conspiracy. I'm just, this is what I think. This is just what I think. I think they're pushing this. They're pushing these certain individuals just so they could say to the new generation, it's okay to act like this. Because you know what? You keep acting the way you're acting, I'm going to just drop a bag on you. Here's, here's this much of my money. Do whatever you want to do and keep pushing this narrative. Just keep doing this. But why though? Why? Why are we trying to Raise our young men to be soft. Why are we training them basically to say, it's okay, just stay home all day, talk crazy to the camera, and, and you're gonna get some followers, and we're gonna drop a bag on y'all. Go ahead. I'm gonna cut a check for this amount of millions. For what? And even then, if they were to give you that kind of money, what are you doing with it that's impactful that you could change the outcome of what we're looking at right now in today's society. There's a lot of things going on right now that is not lining up with a lot of things. And some of them do have a positive message. I'm not saying that all of them are like that, but there are some that, that you listen to, you're like, okay, I get that. Cool. Now, some of them are out there like a promo run, pretty much. They're out there promoting themselves and let everybody know, hey, this and this. And it's like, it's sad because I'm looking at older people interviewing these younger streamers and I'm like now where where is your values at are are you just doing it just so you get the the views up cuz I'm not doing that I'm not doing this to get views and and be like oh you people just watch me no I'm not doing that I, I'm doing this because there's a purpose of what I'm doing because I'm trying to take it to another level so when my kids look at this video they can say hey daddy stood for something men have to be strong they have to build that foundation. They have to get their hands dirty and just build and take it to other levels. It's going to take some hard work. It ain't going to come easy. And see, that's the problem is what it looks like from, from the out, looking from the outside in. It's coming so easy because they just put these antics and, and, and these narratives in, on the social media to think that this is okay. Some of these people... Right. They get with these women that have OF accounts. Right. What do you expect from a female that has those kind of accounts? Don't expect much. They're chasing a bag and they're using you to elevate themselves to another level. And if you can't see that, it's so simple. It's one plus one is two. Where are we missing the numbers? But, you know, we live in a we live in a new generation that. Hey, I don't care, you know, it, 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 she look good and, 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 and I don't care what she does. And, and, and I'm going to talk like that and I got to do this. And... You ain't got to do all that, man. You ain't got to do that. You are teaching anybody that's watching you that it's okay to act like that. Why? I re I'm a firm believer that somebody behind them in their ear saying you have to do this for this amount of money. You have to. You ain't got no choice. You don't do this, you don't get this amount of money. But at what point do you reach a level of certain money that you say, wait a minute, man, I only need this amount. I only need about 5 million, 10 million. What do I look like with $100 million? It's only so much I could buy with $100 million. And there's so many people I could take care of. But, you know, people will do anything for the money, right? If they offer you that kind of money, what kind of impact are you playing? What are people going to say five, ten years down the line about you when you're no longer doing it? Now, look at this clown right here. He didn't stand for nothing. Move on to the next one. Because at the end of the day, you know, this generation coming up eventually is going to say, you know what? We are really facing a struggle. How am I going to play an impact? What am I going to change? Who am I going to listen to? And I hope that if you are listening to me, you get what I'm trying to push. Be strong. Stay dedicated. 
discipline. Focus on what you want for your life. Because you could play an impact. Stop focusing on anybody else. And I'm not, look, I'm not saying that I'm not focusing on anybody. I'm just watching. I'm just like, that's not the direction we need to be going. If I'm here and I have a platform, I'm going to speak on it. Because I want to make sure that the new generation is listening and say, you know what? Yeah, you know what? He's right. I need to play an impact. I need to make some people say, you know what? He stood for something on a positive note. Look, I wish anybody in the streaming, in the YouTube podcast world, nothing but love and success, positive vibes going your direction. Look at what you're doing and say five, 10 years down the line, what do I want people to say about me? Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Si te gusta lo que mira, press like. Share this video on your social media platforms. Drop a comment in the comment section. I'm always interacting with me, gente, ya tu sabes. Hit the notification bell to get notified. This is the website, r2drec.com. And always remember, have peace in your heart, have faith, and never give up. All right, go on. What's good, what's good? Hey, this is Stiko. Hey, somewhere on here, there's a link to my music page. Y'all go check out the music. We got video, visuals, uh, we got audio. Trust me, we got some dope music. When you get a chance, subscribe to that channel as well. The music is on there. Hey, let's keep this rolling, man. Y'all know what it is, man. This is Stiko, all right, one.